Oldsmobile Rocket 455. A quick preliminary check on the crankshaft. We got it downstairs. And we're just doing a quick rough measurement on the journals to see what the story is on this one. All right, we're going to measure a connecting rod journal first. We're going to see what our specs call for. Yeah, thank you. Second set of hands, always handy. All right. The measurement we have on the connecting rod journal, this is just one. They all look pretty much the same, but of course they'll all be measured further in the machine shop. This one says point two four nine 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 seven. And the specs for the connecting rods call for point two four nine eight eight to point two four nine 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 eight. So it looks like we're within spec and on the very healthy side of the thing. So at least with the one journal measurement, we'll do a quick second, third, and fourth down the line. Again, they have to be checked for exact roundness, make sure they're not oval or anything like that. But this one shows roughly just on the borderline for the maximum thickness. So, regardless, it looks like it's a pretty healthy unit what we have here. Yes, right on, right on the maximum side of the limit. Yep, again, pretty much on the maximum side of the limit. 0.249997 we're getting on this one. Now the main journals, the book says, should be 0.29993 to 3.0003. Now I can only measure so far with this instrument because it doesn't have long enough jaws on it, so we'll only be able to measure the top one. And we'll see what we get in a measurement. Yeah, it's looking pretty healthy too. This one is coming out to be 0 0.29999 actually, so it's just, so it certainly is within the limits as well too. And we'll have to see where the other ones are going to take us as, as we go along and measure them. And we'll get to work on the pistons a little bit, we'll get those cleaned up. And they're on a cookie sheet, getting ready to be cooked it looks like, but they're going to be cleaned one by one individually. They'll be measured too, of course. It's a very slow and due process. I mean, there's no rush to do it. Again, like I pointed out another time, this is a nodular iron crank. Sort of about midway on the performance scale between the later cast iron ones and, and the legendary and very hard to find forged ones. So, again, for my needs, the car won't see anything much over 4,000 RPM anyway, really. Um, even with the steep gearing in the back, it's running with an overdrive, but um, it'll do just fine with the components that it's going to have and after all the engine that's in the car right now the 350 went pretty through much the same treatment as well and it's been holding up for three years with um, a pretty decent thrashing and a heavy car so we'll see where this leads us on and on we go till next time have fun with your old car projects